Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. The question is always coming. Okay, if uh, the sex exchange after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam was illegitimate and it was taken from Imam Ali alayhi salam, why Imam Ali alayhi salam didn't fight? Actually, I would like to make this question more wide to cover more area. Okay, you are the follower of Ahlul Bayt. You believe that Imams are infallible and their action should be similar to each other. Okay, after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Imam Ali Alaihi Wasallam didn't fight. The uh, succession was illegitimate, taken away from him. They didn't fight. Until he became successor, he started fighting. Fighting whom? The wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Talha, Zubair, Muawiyah. And after his martyrdom, his son, Imam Al-Hassan Alaihi Wasallam, he started his succession with fighting the opposite of his father. Then he made treaty, peace treaty, with Muawiyah. After him, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, he start without fighting, the opposite of his brother. Then after that, he start fighting in Karbala. After his martyrdom, all of the Imams, none of them fought. How do you say, the follower of Ahlul Bayt, all, all of the Imams are infallible and their actions are not similar? We will answer this question. All we agreed upon that the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, should be followed. Let's talk in today's language. Any political system has three different branches the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch. Judicial branch always following the executive branch. Let's see how the Prophet ﷺ dealt with these two branches, the uh, executive branch and the uh, legislative branch. In Mecca, 13 years, ﷺ, he got all of the oppression from the non-believers. He never fought. But he was taking over the legislative branch, always telling the people what is right, what is wrong. They have to follow uh, Allah. He is the uh, uh, legitimate leader to be followed. He is the messenger from Allah. Taking over just the legislative branch. History never told us that the messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tried to take over the executive branch by force. After he migrated to Medina, now the people came around him supported him. Now it is his responsibility to take over both branches, executive branch and legislative branch. And he took the leadership and he started fighting. So when there is no support, according to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Imams, the uh, Prophet, whoever appointed by Allah, should take uh, over just the legislative branch. But when Imam, Prophet, has supporter, has to take over both branches, the legislative branch and the executive branch. Let's see what happened with the Imams. First, Imam Ali salam. After the Prophet wasallam, people didn't support him. They went and uh, pledge allegiance to somebody else, Abu Bakr, in Saqifat Bani Sa'ida. He didn't have uh, supporters. He took over just the legislative branch. He told the people, he is the legitimate uh, uh, successor. <clears throat> what is right, what is wrong? But he never forced himself to take over the executive branch. Until the death of uh, Uthman, people came around Imam Ali Ali, supported him. Now, his responsibility, according to the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, has to take over both branches, <clears throat> the legislative branch and the executive branch. Until his martyrdom, his son, Imam Hassan when he started <clears throat> in his uh, succession, 
people supported him. His responsibility to take over both branches, the legislative branch and the executive branch, he fought. But Muawiyah, with his evil minded, <coughs> he made the people around Imam Hassan السلام, to go away from him. Now, Imam Hassan السلام, found himself with just few people, not enough to support the executive branch. If he stayed fighting against Muawiyah, all of his supporters, all of his Shia will be uh, killed. <coughs> now, his responsibility is to take over just the legislative branch. That's why he made the peace treaty with Muawiyah. After his martyrdom, Imam Hussein السلام, when he started, he had no supporters until the death of Muawiyah. His son Yazid took over as a ruler. He wanted Imam Hussein to pledge allegiance to him because his plan was to destroy Islam. If Imam Hussein السلام, pledge allegiance to him, he will be the legitimate successor. Then he can destroy the whole Islam. This is his plan. Imam Hussein السلام, didn't give him this opportunity. He refused to pledge allegiance to Yazid. The people of Iraq, they send messages to Imam Hussein Ali Come to Iraq, we will support you to go against this corrupted ruler. Now it is his responsibility to go Iraq because they said we will support you. He was taking over uh, the legislative branch, showing the people what is right, what is wrong. And we know after he went to Iraq what happened. People went away, but he didn't pledge allegiance to Yazid, and we know what happened, what took place in, Kar in Karbala. After him, all of the Imams, none of them had enough supporters to take over both branches, legislative branch and executive branch. But all of them took over the legislative branch, used to tell the people what is right, what is wrong. All of the Imams, not their action not just similar to the action of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but their action, their actions were identical to the uh, action of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.